testing, testing, one, two, three. Con, con, con. Hello to all the hip cats and cool kittens. Don't you change that channel now, because I'm the Pop Fox Show. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. And how's everybody doing today? I'm doing real swell. My name is Kishino Kitsune. And today, we will be playing some Genshin in in Isekai. Gotta remember the name of the title. So without further ado, let's get rock and rollin', shall we? You're actually Nishido, aren't you? Kinda felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the sub -Zero's festival. And... Dunyarzad, did you save her? It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Oh, that's Kath, let's not chat Catherine. Else. Hmm. How about by the Traveler's favorite bench? <laughs> There's never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down oh, this path. The and Fatui. What they to achieve. It's always the answer. Even the the Fatui. The residents haven't noticed anything strange. If the Traveler hadn't broken the sub Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried Lovely. to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seem to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. Hmm? Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? Huh? I... Maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh... We happened to walk by, so we thought we'd... For you to wake up. Really, Paimon? <laughs> Literally, look at look at my face right now. Really, Paimon? I see. <clears throat> huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Mate. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Maintenance personnel? So she is a robot. Child of King Deshret. Never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise King Deshra? Oh god. In fact, she's having aren't guilt. you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of King Deshret. Oh god. Why haven't you gone home? She's having a guilt trip. She's having a mental breakdown. She's lost her mind. Seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of King Deshret. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I somehow really? doubt that. Anyway, enough about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Off? What do you feel is off? Just too it's quiet down the here. the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. You're not getting paranoid, are you? No, I think he's right. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe... I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. Well, regardless... As... Alright, Paimon, shut up. Huh. OMG, it's really time. Aren't many what do you mean it's time? Right now? What do you mean it's time? I'm hoping to be this quiet in front of the academia, and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. Razor don't like doctor. Doctor give shot. Razor don't like shots. I can imagine when they, like, when Bennett goes to the doctor, like, um, uh, he, like, just, he, like, breaks a blood. Whenever they try to eject him, the needle breaks every time. Huh? What's going on? What are all these people doing here at this hour of the night? Huh? What is it? Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. You. And to a rather spectacular welcome. Even if I do say so myself. The Fatui. The outcast! Expelled from the Academia! Indeed I am. 
Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. Il Dottore. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. Oh, God. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. You experiment on children. The people of Samir City. You possess them. What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Oh god, you possess now them. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Oh no! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now. You need to get out of here. What? Catherine? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Yeah. Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! What happened to their kashas? Huh? The Akasha terminals are Don't linked worry. to the rings. We'll meet again outside of the city. Run! Run! Jump! I see. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the God of Wisdom. And you, sir, that harness is not correctly positioned on you. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and this- Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Yeah, we're just gonna kidnap him. Look, we're just gonna kidnap, uh, 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 Foxy Foxy. Oh, wait, no, that's- What's her name say? No, we're just going to capture Big Ears. Hypasia! You! You're the lead researcher here. Traveler? It is you! What do you mean, OMG this again? <gasps> Yay? It's Hypasia! Long time no see! What a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see the two of you again. You're not wearing your Akasha terminal, so you aren't going to be possessed. Who's this? She's a scholar we met via Vidya Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Oh, I see. That's right. We're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Papasia, you're way too excited about this. Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pari Porn of Life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. Oh, lovely. You did it? Congratulations! I'm really happy for you. <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last. When my consciousness made contact with the gods. Ah, uh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was. Uh, I don't like that she's incredible. shaking so much. Uh, we're here for Tainari. All right. Actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. You... you can do that? Do you believe her, Nahida? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try... I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit Borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Where did that Hold come from? Hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Ready? Uh, uh oh. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand 
The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. Uh oh. The first to betray me was a god, my creator, my mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human, my family, my friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality. Oh my he God. broke his promise to me. Humans. They can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. Oh my god. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> my chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. Oh god. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty. A blank slate. And ready to receive a supreme gnosis. Brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. There is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. What is that? Your era is coming to an end. <laughs> hello, Sino. Well, hello, Sino. <sighs> The Mahamatra of the of the Academia. Oh my. Sino. Sino. Uh-oh. Unless my memory fails me, we have barely spoken two words to each other before now at the Academia. Would you care to enlighten me as to when and how I invited the General Mahamatra's wrath? Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape my judgment just because you managed to escape my attack. Huh? <laughs> judgment? So that's how you'd characterize your actions here, is it? Or would elimination perhaps be a more accurate description? Uh, Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. Ah, oh, lovely. Though styled like an assassination, I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. Standard practice for the Matra, as well lovely. as you know. Well, that's a great bit of... Uh, Seems to me more like your own personal touch. Oh. Well, aren't you a bit... Uh, you two seem like you have a history with each other. <laughs> Yes. General Mahamatra Sino. Head of all the Matra at the Academia. He's a formidable hunter, and the ultimate nightmare for any who have committed academic crimes. You Lovely. seem to have placed a lot of trust in Al Haytham, to the point of blocking an attack for him. If I were you, I'd never choose <coughs> to side with him. I wouldn't believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. I urge you, stand back and do not seek to defend him any longer. Has Al Haytham done something wrong? Oh yeah, he stole from he's academia. I won't waste my breath explaining things. Al Haytham, I saw it during our fight. Take it out. The divine knowledge capsule you're hiding on your person. Unless you want me to retrieve it for myself. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Nothing escapes a mantra's senses. Wait, the divine knowledge capsule? Didn't it fall into the mantra? 
Patra's hands in Port Ormos? Nope. He stole no it. No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit, I'm very curious. What does this capsule mean to you? And why, as General Mahamatra of the Academia, are you all alone in the desert? As far as I'm aware, the other mantra have been speculating about your disappearance. Have you been given a mission that's, let's say, morally dubious? Oh. If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority and resources to judge me within the walls of the Academia? It's a mission from the sages. I should have known you'd be difficult to deal with. You two! Ugh. What should we do, Traveler? Paimon feels like we can't trust either of them! Kill them both. Kill them all. Kill everyone in this world. Murder them all. Steal all their money. Ahem. <clears throat> well, look at you two acting all oh, tough God. and self-righteous over there. More people are coming up here. Wait, do you? Oh, God. It's a desert fight. Great! Finally, someone that we can trust! You gotta help us out here, otherwise these two are gonna start fighting again! Paimon, stop running to the... stop being a snitch. Yeah, sure looks that way. Two giants from the Academia duking it out once and for all. Not something you get to see every day, that's... Listen, I know you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous morality and lord your empty rules and virtues over each other. But how dare you bring your petty disputes into the safe haven of Aru village? It seems like someone's gonna have to beat some sense into your thick skulls until you finally learn to respect these grounds. <sighs> uh oh. Hey, did either of you hear a word I just said? Ooh, what's going on? The wind's so strong! Is this a sandstorm? Another sandstorm? What's up with these recently? Hey! All of you, over here, quickly! We have to take cover! Candace! Someone's calling for us! Oh, this wind is too strong! Let's get over there! That sounded like Candace. Uh, come on, you two! Jeez, are all of you academia folks such hard work? Move it! All right, stop yelling. <laughs> come on, let's get the hell out of- let's get the hell out of Dodge. Special thank you to you for watching, and if you like this channel and like this type of content, please be sure to like, follow, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends all about us here at the Pop Fox Show. And I thank each and every one of you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another exciting episode. So bye for now, and keep Sine out. I love